Hi guys, this is Shika once again, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do a smoky eye with just a few products. As you can see right here, that's exactly what I did. I went with like a natural skin tone um, color, and then I used a few products to, um, you know, to smoke that eye. A quick um, eyeliner, uh, mascara, eyeliner on the bottom. Um, if you wonder why I got this band-aid on here, of course, as you know, to have that precise lineup under. And since I'm using like dark eyeshadow, eyeshadow pencil, and it tends to sometimes get um, fallout or to, so you won't have that much fallout if there's fallout possible, that that band-aid would catch that fallout. And I'm going to pull it my eye and you see how I have that you know that, that defined look um, I already did my foundation and my powder and right after I pull my band-aid from my skin um, I go right along with it with some more foundation and powder which I'm going to do right now foundation that I'm using is what I always use is my black radiant put a little bit on my hand to warm it up a little bit and this I'm going to use a, this time a foundation brush by e.l.f., the Pro Brush by e.l.f., and I usually don't too much use this because I buff my foundation with a flat head powder brush. But I'm going to go in here and just retouch the makeup that that Band-Aid had pulled off of my skin. And every time I do a smoky eye, this is what I do. Got a little bit of fallout up under. And I'm gonna fix that. You can either use um, you can use foundation or you can use concealer. But right now I'm gonna choose to do foundation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it with some powder, just like that. And I'm gonna use my fan brush that I got from Coastal Scents. I love this fan brush. And um, use my my CoverGirl foundation. I mean my CoverGirl powder to set that foundation like so. And that's it. I'm going to do quickly do the other eye to show you step by step how I accomplish this look. First off, I start off with my L'Oreal's Decrease. And that's so your eyeshadows won't crease up on you. Um, you won't have that much of a fallout. Um, it doesn't so much brighten, um, brightens that eyeshadow, but it, it really does help with, um, for your eyeshadows don't crease up on you. And it keeps your eyeshadow intact all day. Got it from Walmart for about 7 bucks, and I really do love this eyeshadow primer. I already kind of groom my brows so they could stay put while I'm doing this eye look. Now you can use um, Urban Decay or Too Faced, any kind of eyeshadow primer. But I love L'Oreal's eyeshadow primer because I like the brush applicator. So we're going to smooth that out, the whole eye area. It's up to you if you want to put it on the lower eyelash, but I don't so much do that really, unless I have a lot of eyeshadow on. Just like that. Now what I'm next going to do is to take my half of a bandage that I cut. And place it right where I do not want my eyeshadow to run. Just like this. And I leave just a tad bit space up underneath so I can get in there with my flat line eyeshadow brush or a pencil to intensify that smoky eye look. And like I said, I already have done my foundation and my um, powder makeup, so that's set for. Now, I'm going to start up under the eyebrow, and we're going to choose like a natural um, skin tone look to highlight your brow bone up under here. And I'm going into my LA Colors palette, and that's the traditional color. 
and I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Um, you can choose to do a color like this or a color like this. Either one of them. This eyeshadow tends to have like a bit shimmer in it, but it doesn't matter because the um, the black eye pencil or the soft black eye pencil I'm going to use have a little bit of shimmer in it. And you're going to brush right up under all the way to that band-aid like so. Now if you chose to, if you, you, you could choose to use, um, use another highlighter to really highlight up under your eyebrows, but I'm going for more of a natural highlight. I'm going to blend all the way down like so. Just like that. Now, next I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow base color. And this is the NYX, and this is in Slate. You can see that. Um, they do make a deeper color, a black color, and it's called Black Bean. But um, I kind of like this because it's not so much richer for black color. And I'm looking for like smoky eyes just like I have right here. But it's up to you. You can use Slate or you can use Black Bean. But um, what I'm going to do is place it on top of my lid like so. Mainly focusing on the outer V. And the outer V is your crease and right along here. And you're going to blend that up. The best thing the, the best thing about jumbo eye pencils is that you could color on your eyeshadow like a crayon and spread it out. And that's what I'm going to do. Don't worry about the inside because we're going to blend that with that natural brown skin tone color. We're mainly worried about um, in a smoky eye look, we're mainly worried about the outside. You're going to spread that all the way up with your finger. Make sure that you get your top lash line too. Now I'm going to take this small fluffy brush and blend that out. Like so. Want my color to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to blend a little bit more color above my crease. Just like that. I'm going to go over with that skin tone color that I've used before out of my LA colors and blend a little bit more. All the way to the inside, close to your tear, the inner tear duct. Just like that. Now, we're going to deepen that eye look. And I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild Don't Steal My Thunder palette. And that middle color, which is the black, and it does say crease. And that's what we're going to use this color in. I will crease right here and blend it up. I'm going to... Oh, my mirror fell. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to go into my um, color with my flat eyeliner brush by e.l.f. that you can pick up from Target. Now this black has a little bit of shimmer in it. You can use a flat black and I do have a flat black and that's in my NYC uh, Times 814 two color palette but I want a little bit of shimmer in my smoky eye so that's why I chose my Wet n Wild black 
Okay, your outer V, like I was saying, that's your crease all the way down here. You're going to start with the bottom V to your top V, just like this, into your crease. Now see how easy that is, just like that. I'm going to grab a little bit more and we're going to take the small fluffy brush and blend it up. You can blend it up with this flat eyeliner brush, but to make sure that it's all blended very well with that slate color, I'm going to use my fluffy brush. And that's to deepen your outer V. You can get that smoky eye look. Just make sure that you keep that black on your crease, the top of your eye area. We're going to blend it up just like that. I like the smoky eye look, especially in the evening time, because it looks more like, you know, a mysterious kind of eye look, um, a very mature look, just like that. Now, that slate color is still intact in my main eye area, and remember, we concentrated more on the outer V with that deep eye color. Gonna intensify a little bit more, then blend it up. Blend, blend, blend it up. Just like that. Now I'm going to go back into my uh, natural brown eye color and blend some more so all the colors like blend effortlessly on top of your eye lid. The inner tear duct as well. Just like that. Now, we're going to line the eye. Now, it's up to you if you want to use that flat eyeliner pencil with a, a, a matte flat black. But I'm going to use um, a wet and wire. It's a wet and wire color icon black eye pencil because it's a whole lot easier and quicker. So, we're going to line that top all the way to the inner tear duct. Just like that. Okay, like I said, I do leave a little space in between my um, bottom lash line and that band aid, if you can see, to give me room to line my bottom lash line. And I'm only, only going to go halfway in, like so. Then gonna, I'm going to use that flat brush and go into that flat black color and set the eyeliner. Just like that and it's going to meet with my with my outer V. That's why I leave my um, band-aid out just a little bit or tape or whichever you prefer. Like that. Now I'm not going to worry about doing the inner corner because like I said, I want to intensify that outer side of my eye. Now it's up to you if you want to use like a natural brown color or your skin tone to clean up on the inside, but I'm not going to do that. 
Um, my next thing is, of course, is my lashes. And for my lashes, I'm going to, I'm going to use my favorite mascara right now, and that's the Black Radiance. This is the, length, the Lash Lengthening Formula. And I really do like it because I like the bristles on it. Going to do like two or three coats of that. This is when I don't want to wear falsies. Like I said, I'm doing a quick smoky eye look. We're going to run it on top of the eyelashes and roll that brush. So every bit of that lash is covered with mascara. And roll that brush. And flip it back up. Another coat, and we're going to be done. Can you see that? Like so. Yeah. Now, um, like I said, it's up to you if you want to line your whole lash line or do a brown all the way to your smoky eye. But like I said, I want to do a quick, um, a quick, you know, smoky eye look. I'm going to take my Band-Aid off. You see how you have that defined line? Like so. Um, I'm going to clean up that bottom lash line just a little bit along here. Make sure I don't have a gap in between these two colors. Like so. See, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, of course, when you take that band-aid off, you're going to be missing, if you can see, some of that foundation and powder. So, I'm going to go back into my favorite black radiance liquid makeup. Tap a little bit of color on the back of my hand. Spread it out with my foundation brush. Right up under my smoky eye colors. Blend down. Clean your eye up, up under your bottom lash line a little bit. And of course, the top portion of your eye into your hairline. And we're going to set that with um, Sun Face Powder. And I'm going to use a fan brush. Same fan brush I use for the eye. Just like that. And you are done with that smoky eye, honey. Just like that. Now, let's see, do I want to wear any kind of lipstick with to complete this look? I'm gonna start off with just some basic lip gloss. Of course, if you want to intensify, like I said before, you can use falsies if you want to. And for, falsies work perfect with the smoky eye. I mean, it really, really brings out your lashes. But like I said, I want to keep them a little bit like more simple. So, yeah. And I think the color, lip color that I really want, wanted to use was um, a softer red. But I can't seem to find that one right now. So what I'm going to try is my, um, I think it's a six, 16 hour colorless by CoverGirl. I put um, lip gloss on first because this, this dries pretty quickly to me. And it's a bright red, so bear with me. And it has like a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see it. This is the color 521. And I'm not a lipstick person, a bright red person, 
but I think I wore this like over the weekend just to get a different look. I love trying different looks at least. And like I said, this dries on you very quickly. That's why they um, also put a clear, nice lip balm that comes with it to set this color. And really, I have two of these colors. I have this red color and I have a bright pink. But like I said, I'm not a lip color person like that. So it just sits in my makeup bag and I use the lip balm. Now I'm going to, like I said, use that lip balm, that clear lip balm. This is it. Like this. Matter of fact, I don't even have any more lip balm in this. But I do have another one. So what I'm going to do is use, this is an old trick that I've used forever, I think since high school, to scoop out some of the product. I used to back up a eyeshadow brush. And a small light like, brush. And it brings that that glossy look back. Just like that. It is kind of cute. It just feels weird, weird to me wearing a bold red lip like this. But I think it goes with my smoky eye. Um, I'm going to set some more powder up along my lip area. I'm not going to put on any blush because I feel like that. Since my eye is so bold and I have a bold red lip, that blush should be just a tad bit too much. But it's up to you. If you want to put on blush, you can. And while you're on. Um, if you don't want to use the balm, of course you can apply um, what I apply lip gloss, uh, lip gloss on top of that. But I feel like that is kind of shiny enough, so. But yeah. So this is my smoky eye look that I gave y'all. Excuse my, my dress. They need washing and doing very badly. <laughs> so but this is my look. My smoky eye look that I use with just I say a few products, but other people might think that it's a lot of products. But this is uh, the LA Colors Traditional Palette, the Wet n Wild, Don't Steal My Thunder, and that's in C385B, just the crease color. Um, before that, I have my L'Oreal Decrease um, to deepen that crease eye look. And you, if you're looking for a a flat black color. That's the NYC Times 814 palette. Um, for my lashes, I use my Black Radiance Mascara, the Lengthening Mascara. Um, for my base color, of course, it was the NYX Slate color. That's this color. Let's see? I really do love this slate color, but I'm going to get that black bean. <laughs> to line my eye, um, to line my whole eye, I use the color Icon, and that's the Wet n Wild. I have like four or five of these bad boys. Never get enough. I have enough eye black eyeliner. Um, but yeah, with that, 
yeah, that's all that I use. And this is my look, y'all. Um, of course, where's the subscribe? Subscribe to Miss Brown Shika Soul channel, which is my channel on any makeup tutorials, um, a dread, uh, on natural hair tutorials, and I have a question and answer video more professional video about my hair as well because a lot of people still ask me about my dress, how I get started and all of that jazz or whatever. So look for that video. Um, I have a natural eye video as well and what's in my makeup bag video. Um, any questions, any comments, um, anything that you would like to add and like to tell me about new lip products, foundation products. I'm always looking for new products, especially, especially foundations. Comment below. Please comment below. Like this video as well. You can follow me on Twitter, um, Brown Sugar Soul. That's Brown Sugar S U J S U G A H Soul number one. Um, I'm Brown Sugar on Facebook. I'm going to I think I'm going to put my links right here. Ta ta. Right here, so you can get in contact with me, and um, we could talk about makeup and talk about natural hair, which is like my favorite things because I'm an aspiring makeup artist. So any help um, would really assist me. I mean, I don't know everything about makeup, but I really would like to know everything about makeup, especially for dark skin. So if you um, try any products or any all uh, natural hair products, please, please, please let Sugar know. I would love to learn more about stuff like that. So once again, subscribe, like, comment. I love comments. And until then, I really do. I think I do like this look. It looks like more like a, a holiday um, Christmas party look to me. And it is wild in the summertime. But, yeah, it's something totally different for me because I'm used to wearing natural eyeshadows and nude lips. But um, I hope that y'all like this video. I hope that y'all find it very helpful. And until then, I will see y'all later. Bye.